Getting back at them. In fact, our Flames back in action on Thursday night playing L.A. One of those Calgary Flames happens to be Michael Backlund, who also happens to be hanging out with Jill Belland right now. Jill? Yeah, the whole team is here, Tara, and we have Michael Backlund, as you mentioned, Jamie McCown, and Harvey the Hound, our favorite hound. Uh, but as you mentioned, a day off for you, so we appreciate you taking the time here uh, to spend the morning with us. Let's talk a little bit about the game yesterday. Did you lose any bets? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> not to bring it up, not to rub salt in the wound, uh, but what will happen for you this week on the bets that you lost? Uh, I'm going to have to wear that uh, Canadian t-shirt all week yeah. in the locker room and uh, not happy about it. Not happy about it, uh, but you're going to represent, so uh, we do appreciate that. And of course, looking forward to the Flames picking up again, and uh, how are you feeling heading out of this break? Uh, I'm excited to get back playing. Uh, it's been a long time now without games. Uh, for a start, it was nice, you know, get a little mental break, get away from hockey, but now I'm getting anxious to get back at it. And, uh, you know, after a hard, hard week of training, I think the whole team is excited to get playing again. Okay, excited to see you guys in action on Thursday. Uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what we're seeing here, the BT Outdoor Classic. Do you remember playing hockey at this age? Yeah, I remember. Uh, I can't say it was a long time ago because Jamie's over here, but uh, <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> but uh, no, I, you know these are uh, uh, probably the best times of your life when you were kids playing you know, all these games. You just uh, you didn't play as often as we do now, and uh, every game was just uh, oh you were so excited for, it and uh, you couldn't wait to play the next game. And uh, all the tournaments you played as a kid, it was so much fun. Um, um, no, it's uh, awesome to see it again. Yeah, awesome to see, and a lot at stake for these kids as four teams will play in your home arena and was your home arena uh, at the Saddle Dome Ice. Do you remember your first game as a Calgary Flame, Jamie? I do. As a matter of fact, it wasn't in the Saddle Dome, it was over in the Corral. Oh, really? So uh, the Saddle Dome was just being built because the Olympics at that time were, were coming. And uh, I mean, the Corral's got some character to it. There was a smaller little dress room, but just the idea of getting in there with these guys that were actually getting paid to play a game yeah. and paid to have fun, it was just overwhelming. And uh, I had a great time. I remember first couple games, you know, playing against Edmonton and not understanding the rivalry at that time, but very quickly it was pounded into my head. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, there was quite a rivalry there. Uh, Michael, do you remember your first game sitting up as a flame? Yeah, I remember it. Uh, I was just after World Juniors. I uh, I decided to stay over in North America instead of going home. And uh, but I got to come here and uh, I was just going to uh, practice with Calgary and then uh, Bertuzzi to get hurt. So I got to play my first game before I got sent down to Kelowna. Yeah, pretty exciting to play at Saddle Dome Ice. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, it was my first game at Dome. I played Max tournament final. Mm -hmm. That was my first game there. But uh, it was an awesome feeling to put the jersey on. and. Uh, uh, playing in front of the Sea of Red, it was a great feeling, and uh, no, it was an awesome game. Awesome game. Uh, awesome game here this morning, the BT Edger Classic. And Jamie, you were saying this is pretty decent hockey. The kids are skating fast. Yeah, you know, it's, it's interesting. You forget how good these kids can really be. And, you know, they're making the moves. They're doing some deeks. I think some of them could go around me, which isn't <laughs> saying much. But uh, they look like they're having fun, and, and the goaltenders are doing a good job as well. Okay, awesome. Uh, this is, uh, do you remember playing at this age? I do remember playing this stage. We, we didn't have to wear the, the same helmets that they do now. And uh, all I remember is you'd fall down and some kid would start crying. And then the referees would just tell him, get up. You know, it's not like it is now. So you'd hope that someone would fall down so you could just take advantage of it and tr hopefully get a shot on that. <laughs> a little bit of a tougher scenario uh, growing up playing hockey in Ontario for yourself. Uh, great to have you both. Thanks very much, you guys, for showing up. And, uh, of course, the Flames in action on Thursday, as you mentioned, Tara. Thanks, Jill. Uh, more from Winsport in just a little bit. Also